Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I have yet another download for you guys tonight. <laughs> um, but my, I have to tell you guys right off the gate, right out the gate, my spirit guides are in a fantastic mood tonight. I don't know, they're making me laugh. So, um, it's just sometimes it gets like that, Cancer. You just have to roll with it, okay? Anyway, I do, they are showing me a movie scene for you, Cancer. Um, this reading is for the collective. Let's just consider it a late night bonus at this point, okay? Um, just take what resonates, Cancer, and leave the rest, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, the love, um, the smiley face emojis, the little hearts. I like those too. I like the little hearts. Um, yeah, the weird emojis, you know, I love those two guys. Like, send me more eggplants. I love that, okay? <laughs> All right, anyway, Cancer, I love you. I totally love you guys. Um, all right, so, um, the scene that they showed me was from a movie called, oh, darn, what? This is the end. It's called This is the End, and Seth Rogen is in it. And um, somewhere, like, in the beginning of the movie, um, he's talking to his friend, Jay. <laughs> and, uh, and he says, yeah, um, I'm on a cleanse. Um, I'm on a cleanse. And then, and then he says, yeah, I'm on a cleanse. It's making me feel great, you know. And I'm staying away from, um, oh, what did he say? Gluten, right? Gluten. And his friend Jay says, um, if somebody told you to stay away from gluten, you would just say, well, I, I guess I better stay away from gluten, right? I mean, okay, so you have to see the movie to understand what I'm saying. But um, I feel like, Cancer, this person listened to everybody talk about you, but they didn't, they didn't even give you a chance to, not that you would need to explain, but they didn't come to you about any of it. I feel like this person is so used to listening to others that they're a follower at this point, okay? Um, I, I think I had this in another reading. I think it was a collective reading, though, so you may want to check back about a week. Um, but yeah, your person listened to other people about you, and I feel like they made an impulsive judgment call on you. Um that was not right okay um it was un like a very unfair move um but yeah I, I mean they just listen to everybody else they allow everyone else to to lead them um, make all of their decisions for them and i feel like this person is now finally realizing that their friends have led them astray um a lot of the things that they told them about you have been lies Okay, and there's one friend in the group that's telling this person this, like, are you, you would believe everything everybody tells you, man. And, you know, looking at him like, are you, are, that's like a problem, you know. Um, but we'll see what comes out, okay. I just wanted to get that message out. Divine, what messages do you have for cancer? Um, yeah, you're moving forward here. Yeah, see, this person can see. Um, you're somehow in the public eye, Cancer, and I feel like you're attracting the attention of a lot of people, and it's because of your energy, okay? Um, I feel like this person believed a bunch of crap about you, all right? I feel like it's each one of these swords. They're realizing now. They're sitting up in bed, like, all of a sudden, they start crying, and they start remembering what people have said. Then they start thinking about all that they've seen, um, about you in the public eye. See, I feel like this person, this is for somebody who maybe got with your person, right? Um, and you were just maybe starting to get to know each other or they barely gave you a chance. Um, and I feel like they believed other people and at that point it was like a cold, harsh cutoff. They ghosted you. Um, and I feel like uh, they left you behind, right? Backstabbed you, left, left you behind to heal on your own. Um, they, it was an impulsive move. They didn't think it through. They didn't come to you and talk to you about anything that they were hearing. All right, they just believed everybody else, okay? So I feel like there were multiple people that were involved in backstabbing and betraying you, Cancer. I feel like there were at least 
uh, a couple people is what I'm picking up on that maybe even work together as a team because they didn't want you two together. I really get the sense that this was a really strong, good connection. And they allowed others get in between it. They allowed, they listened to other people. They should have defended you, but they didn't. They believed those people instead. And it was lies. They can see the real you. You're showing yourself here to the world in the public eye. Other people can see you too. Whoever it was that was lying to you, this person full on realizes all of this were lies. They were all lies. Okay, and I feel like um, now they're kind of, now they're crying, man. Yeah, everything's coming out. I'm telling you, this person sees it all now. They realize it. And I feel like it was possibly a friend of theirs because because of what they're showing me. Um, it, it was possibly a friend of theirs that like kind of questioned them on it, you know, um, kind of told them that observation, dude, you would listen to anybody. You would do whatever anybody tells you that you should do. And this person is realizing it. They're laying in bed here, Cancer, realizing it. They let others come in between you. They should have defended you. They should have at least given you the respect and consideration to talk to you about it. But no, they believed other people. And I feel like they kept their back turned from you for up to three months, three years. I feel like this person, now they're laying in bed, panicky, having anxiety attacks. They, they, they can see the true you. I mean, I feel like you, you don't change. You know what I mean? You're, you've got this beautiful, loving energy, and that's what people are attracted to. They love, I mean, people are out here loving you. You're peaceful. You're serene. You're a healer, for crying out loud. Whatever this person heard about you was derogatory, okay? It was negative. And it was all a lie. They believed, I feel like they believed a lot of things that were said about you, okay? And now they, they can't get this off of their mind. It's literally, um, oh man, they, they just feel so dumb, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I feel like they... Um, Honestly, Cancer, I got to say, I feel like this was just a really good connection. I feel like when this person brought you this love offer, um, they may have made some empty promises to you, or at least it feels that way. I feel, though, they really felt this connection. I really get the feeling off of the cards, just the feeling off of it, that you both felt the same way. You know? I feel like you did. And I feel like when this person made the choice to walk away from you, it was impulsive. And I feel like they've, they've, that's hurt them ever since. You know, um, even as they're standing here, you know, little by little, they can see your love just um, evaporating here in front of them. They kept their back turned because they believed other people before they even discuss things with you but um i feel like this whole time they just kind of st stood here in sorrow as they watched your love for them evaporate because you may not even feel the same way about them anymore and they know that too that's one of the things that's got them um in a panic in a lot of anxiety it's got them crying actually they feel really guilty Clarify this two of, of pentacles. It's almost like what they were they had a choice to make, okay? This person had a choice, and I feel like they made it they made it uh they just didn't know what to believe at the point at that time. So they believed other other people that were in their inner circle, but now they're they're seeing very clearly that it was all lies. They're seeing all of those people that talked about you and said things about you. They weren't even really true friends of your person. They were just trying to keep you guys apart. You know, I feel like this person, they just didn't know what to do. They made an impulsive decision and decided to believe the other people.
okay? But now I feel like they've gotten their clarity here. They know it was all lies. I'm telling you, it was all lies, Cancer. That's a lie card right there. And this sword, to me, stands for having clarity. It's like they know. They know it was all lies. These were toxic people trying to keep your person from their destiny. I can't make it up. <laughs> I can't make it up, Cancer. Um, yeah, it's they, they completely see it now for what it is. And this person, um, they don't know what to do now. I mean, they're so indecisive. This is somebody who has a very, I feel like, I feel like it's a childhood trauma thing. I got to say, um, I'm hearing daddy issues, actually. They may feel like they can't make a good choice on their own. You know, maybe they got a lot of, like, um, maybe they, they weren't told that, that, um, that people were proud of them as a kid, or maybe no matter what kind of accomplishments they made in the past as even growing up, um, maybe they were in a, a household where nobody really showed them any appreciation or something. You know what I mean? Um, and maybe they just don't know how, it, like they can't trust their own decision-making skills is really what it feels like to me. So this person always feels like they rely on other people's um, input in order for them to make a decision because they don't want to make the wrong choice. But this person trusted the wrong people. They trusted toxic people around them, maybe even family members that lied um, and didn't care that they were lying. It's like they knew they were telling lies and they, they didn't really, they didn't care, okay? Um, and I feel like um, it just kept them away from wish fulfillment is all it did. See, when you and them got together, I can feel that connection. It was beautiful, Cancer. It was beautiful. And believe me, honey, they felt the same thing you did. You're absolutely right about that. They did feel it. Like, I can hear somebody question themselves, man. I know they felt that. Didn't they feel it? I know they felt something there. I know they did. You're right. They did. Okay? But they believed other people. They already were afraid to make a decision on their own for some reason. And they believe the other people. It's really as simple as that. Um, they should have defended you, okay? They should have at least talked to you about it, but they didn't. They just dropped this like it was a hot potato. And, um, and they kept their back turned. And I feel like a lot of this, I'm feeling heavy guilt off of this. Like, they knew I, the whole time this person standing here, it feels to me like they were longing for you, Cancer, just longing for you. This person never once forgot you. They just, they don't know how to make a decision on their own and they don't trust their own intuition and they don't, I feel like that's learned behavior. You know, and I feel like it stems from, I don't know, something in childhood. Maybe, like I said, maybe they had a father. I'm feeling, I'm hearing father issues. Maybe they had a father figure that um, didn't, didn't help them with their confidence. You know what I mean? That um, wasn't happy no matter what they accomplished. You know what I mean? And maybe this person just always second guesses their own decisions. But in this case, they just, they trusted toxic people with their destiny. I saw the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. They trusted toxic people with their destiny. Okay. And now they can see the truth here, Cancer. They can see the truth because they're watching you. They're watching everything you do. I feel like this person's been watching you this whole time because of that beautiful connection. They can feel they walked away from something great. Okay? And they've watched you heal from the heartache. Okay? Um, and they've watched you deal with the confusion um, and and the uh, having your name dragged through the mud because people were talking about you behind your back 
Um, they've watched you come up and rise through all of that. I, I, I feel like this person is kind of in awe of you every day. They can see very clearly um, who you are, what you're made of, what you're capable of, okay? They see you in Empress energy, very abundant, a boss, business owner. You know what it takes to be the Empress. It's every queen in the deck. You've got to be highly intelligent. You've got to be intuitive. You've got to be a nurturer, okay? Um, you've got to nurture things that are growing for you. Um, it's spiritual, getting messages. This is somebody who's divinely led as well. You've got to be grounded, stable, confident. Um, you've got to be motivated, dedicated, reliable, responsible. You, you've got to know business or at least be very, very skilled at what you do. You've got to be a hard worker with a great work ethic, somebody who can multitask, someone who can take care of everything. And you've got to do it with integrity. Okay, someone who stands by the truth. I'm telling you, Cancer, you're every queen in the deck here. If you, I feel like you're doing something that you're passionate about. You're in control of your own destiny here. You're every queen. And this person, now they're realizing here, you're their twin flame, man. They should have chosen you, Cancer. They should have chosen you. Man, They the what they missed out on here. This is what they're thinking about, what they missed out on. Because now they're seeing you move forward. But, you know, when I see this as a combo out here, right, um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like this is somebody who um, really is holding you in high regard. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Like they've got the spotlight on you. All they can think about is you now, Cancer. Now, they it's almost like they've put you on a pedestal in their own mind. Okay? They realize what the things that were told to them before from other people, they realize those, that was lies. They see the real you now. Okay? And you're like everything. You're everything rolled up in a pretty little intuitive package here. And they hold you, they, it's like they hold you on a pedestal. You don't know that yet because this person hasn't communicated with you yet. They're still trying to feel, like, figure out um, how to deal with that guilt. They're still afraid of making a decision on their own. But they are realizing they can't listen and trust everybody anymore. You know, they, they can't trust the people that they've been talking to in the past. But yeah, look at how they're holding a torch to you here. Do you see this? They hold you in high regard and no one else but you. No one else is in their mind but you, Cancer. You're their empress here. Now they can see you. I feel like you you are out in the public eye. You could have your own platform. Yeah, look, destiny. There you look. You were their destiny. But I feel like they um they they ended up giving to someone else. Okay. This could have been a very passionate connection, all right? And maybe this made you feel very used. And I feel like that's one of the things that they're thinking about. You know, because it I, they came in and then they left very quickly. I feel like they barely even gave you a chance, but yet you, they they fell in love with you, Cancer. Okay, plain and simple, they, they really did. They fell in love because as this person stands here, I can just feel that gut-wrenching longing for you, okay? All right, and that's, that's the feeling I've got. Yeah, look, I feel like um, now they realize you may not let them back in. See, look, they let other people lie about you and sabotage this connection, and your person just watched you walk away and cry. Not having any answers, not having any communication, no clarity, no nothing, nothing. This person is, I feel like they're standing here wondering, man, is there even a chance that they can ever get this back after what's been done? Okay? Yeah. And I feel like 
even at the time when this person walked away from you, Cancer, and betrayed you, um, when that happened, okay, when this connection was sabotaged, you just let them make their own decisions. You didn't retaliate. You didn't chase after them. You didn't seek any kind of revenge, okay? You didn't whine at them. You didn't blow up their phone. You didn't, you know, you just, you blocked this energy out and it was done. You allowed this person to make their own decisions and that shows integrity. It shows strength. It shows self-respect. I'm telling you, now they see you as literally everything, everything. No one could ever hold a candle to you in their eyes. They've put you on a pedestal in their own mind here, Cancer. <sighs> yeah, and there you are. There you are, the beautiful, loving Cancer. All right, what more can you show me here, Divine? I think I got the message out, though. <laughs> um, yeah, my spirit guides have a little um, a sense of humor tonight. I don't know. They're feeling kind of, they're, they're funny tonight. All right, so what else can you show me for Cancer? Yeah, this person wants to talk to you, Cancer. Okay, they do. And this is somebody who's going to say something like, you know, I feel like this person very gently and considerately wants to get to know you. Like I said, I feel like this is one of those situations where they bar barely gave you a chance. You could have known this person for years and and maybe they weren't close to you and didn't deeply know you. You know what I mean? I feel like you weren't together real long and now they want they they want to date. They want to maybe start off as friends. They want to talk. This person may want to move slowly. You know, they realize how how badly they mistreated you. Okay? They realize how unfair it was. They realize what they put you through and I feel like this is them wanting to start, have another chance, but they want to be gentle. Okay? And they want to start off slow, Cancer, and they want to be your friend and get to know you, and they're hoping to win back your trust. You know, they really broke your trust here. Oh, no, not again, my camera. Sorry about that, Cancer. My camera was blinking at me again. Um, <clears throat> honestly, guys, I don't know why it's doing that. So, But, um, you know, I... What I notice about this here, Cancer, for the first time in, I feel, in, a, in years of this person's life, okay, probably since childhood, for the very first time, you know what you're inspiring this person to do? Make their own decision. Look at that. They're not asking anybody about what they should do. They're just making a choice on their own. And maybe that's why it's coming in as a page. This is the first time they've done this. They're not asking anybody's advice this time. They're coming straight to you directly, and they know what they want. They want to they restart. They want to get to know you. Okay? Yeah, so I love that. I do love this. Um, I feel like this is the first time they've ever done this is make their own decision without getting anybody else's input, okay? So I feel like even though it's page energy, I have to say, to me, that's a sign of strength, you know? All right, so, yeah. I feel like they're about to approach you, Cancer. This person, I, I feel like you're going to get a text message or, like, maybe a simple phone call or an email asking you, hey, can we talk? Okay, can we talk? And this person comes over. This is somebody, like I said, it's taken them way too long to give you this offer, Cancer, and they are scared because this is, really is something that they're not used to doing, is making up their own mind on their own, by themselves. <laughs> okay? Yes, yeah, so I feel like you are, they're going to come forward here. They're going to they're going to see if they can approach you first. If you let them, if you let them, 
they're going to come and see you in person, Cancer, I feel. And they may even bring you a gift, something like that. But um, I feel like this person wants to put the work in. I saw the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're afraid. They're afraid to approach cancer because of all the manipulation. It's going to feel like manipulation. I feel like, though, they, they're they looking at, it's almost like they're looking at this person. Look at the disgust on their face, okay? I feel like they're going to tell you, oh, I was manipulated by other people. They told me a lot of things. And um, I, I've been carrying that with me this whole time. Yeah, they're, I feel like they're going to tell you about the manipulation, all of the things that were said, right? And that they should have defended you then, but they didn't. Okay? They're going to tell you all of this. I feel like this person is about to talk, and they're going to tell you everything. Because this time, Cancer, this time... They want to give it a real shot, man, and they want to do it the honest way, and they want to, I feel like they want to just keep it between you, man, and get to know you slow. Very, they're going to be very gentle with this approach, okay? They are. Yeah, they should have defended you here. Yeah, they were, this was illusions. This was illusions and lies, yeah, things that were hidden, cancer. Lies and illusions given to them by other people. You were in a mental mind trap. They, they were feeling out in the cold away from you too because this was a good connection. I feel like it made them happy. It made them feel great. And then other people wanted to, they didn't want them to be happy, I guess. Other people got in the way. Yeah, they're going to tell you, Cancer, um that it was all lies, it was all illusion. Other people around them um, told lies and, and just created this mess. They're going to tell you that um, they've felt so out in the cold without you. They know that you've um, been in a mental prison over this. You both have been kind of mirroring each other here this whole time. They've held on to your energy and the memories and the feeling that you gave them this whole time, Cancer. I'm telling you. And then we've got the King of Pentacles energy on the bottom of the deck here. Um, in a lot of regret. They, you know, this person could have even gotten committed to someone else. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got Aries out here too. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Scorpio. But I feel like they're walking away from that cancer for another chance with their earth angel. I kid you not. They want to start this over, cancer. They want to start it over. Okay, this person feels like a fool. They made an impulsive move. You know, they took a risk. They didn't know what to do. They were already confused. You know what? They want to come right back to you here. Yep, they want another chance. Okay, what's cancer going to do? What's cancer going to do? So you're about to get this communication. And this person's going to be very respectful. I feel like if they were, um, if they were in something else, because I am seeing hints of the third party here, I feel like they went and chose somebody else over you. Okay, but they're walking away from that. They're walking away from that. They know they chose poorly. All right, what else can you show me here? What is Cancer going to do? Cancer, I feel like um, they're coming in with a big apology. Um, I feel like some of you, honestly, I have to say, Cancer, I kind of get the sense that some of you really want this too. Oh, Cancer. Oh, Cancer. Cancer, I feel like you both were wishing for this. You both were, there, you know, there's no way this love connection is over. I got to say, it's not over, Cancer. There's just no way it's over. 
they're they're wanting to put the work in they're going to tell you they um worked on the wrong thing they're going to tell you they waited too long to come in what is cancer going to say i feel like you've both been wishing for this man oh cancer what are you going to say here i'm seeing a like something an argument a fight i don't know what this is Clarify this five of wands. You may make them really work for this, or you may tell them, too, that um, you could even already have someone new in the picture, Cancer. Oh, gosh. I'm kind of getting the feeling like this is who they were married to or committed to, okay? Okay. They may tell you that there's a fight that goes off, or they may tell you that um, that somebody wants to fight with you. What is this? What is this Five of Wands? Praying here. Ooh. Sorry, again, Cancer. I don't know what's going on with my camera tonight, but... Okay, so anyway... Um, I had just pulled these cards out before that the camera died again. Um, what I feel like cancer is this person's going to describe to you how they got out of their relationship, okay, with this Queen of Pentacles. Um, I'm feeling like they're going to end up telling you that um, they were the Queen of Pentacles may have told them not to talk to you, not to watch you, not to look at you, anything like that, right, to stay away from you. And I feel like this person, um, they tried, but I feel like they just, they can't get their mind off of you. Okay, yeah, they, they can't get their mind off of you, man. They can't. They can't do it. And they've realized that. They've realized it. So I feel like they're telling this Queen of Pentacles here, if these, if these two are committed, which it looks like they are, they're telling them they want a divorce. And they're also telling them they don't want to work on it anymore. I feel like they had to really um, think about this decision and pray on it because they didn't really want to hurt this Queen of Pentacles, but they don't want to work on it anymore, okay? They just don't. So I feel like they're ending that. They're going to tell you, yes, in fact, that I am getting a divorce. It is over. Can we have another chance? Oh, Cancer. Can we have another chance? Cancer, this person's bossing up into an emperor here. This, I feel like this is a legit offer, Cancer. Okay, and this is somebody coming in to tell you everything. I don't, I feel like they're not, I don't think they're lying. I really don't. I feel like this is all legit and honest. I feel like they're getting a divorce. That situation is over. Yeah, I've got the four of cups on the bottom of the deck. They do not want to miss out on you. They're going to ask you for another chance. What does Cancer say here? What's Cancer going to do? Hmm. <laughs> I kind of get the sense it's 50-50, Cancer, okay? It's 50-50. Some of I feel like it's going to depend on your situation. Some of you will take this person back. Some of you may not. Oh, man. Oh. Some of you, you know, some of you may say that you have somebody new coming in. Okay, that's for some of you, maybe not all of you. But you may tell this person you've got someone new and they're going to be crushed. But I feel like, on the other hand, I can see this person um, coming in the right way, Cancer, to transform this. They're being divinely led here. Let's see. What are you going to say, man? Cancer, you may actually, ha you may feel stuck. You may be like, this may be a happy thing for you, but you're going to, I feel like there's a, a lot of you that may need to kind of take a moment, process this, and think about it, okay? Um, yeah, because you've worked really hard on this whole journey and um, the life that you have now, and I feel like you, 
you may not know what to do here, Cancer. But uh, yeah, this is somebody who's be, who's been in, awakened here. Okay, this is an enlightenment. This is an emperor. This person's coming to you as an emperor, and somebody longing for you here. Yeah, they can't carry these burdens anymore, Cancer. This person has to talk. I I think it's going to be different for all of you, right? Um, some of you will accept this person back. Some of you will not. I feel like it's going to be 50-50, and it's going to depend on your own situation, Cancer. But you get to make that final decision, I feel. Uh, but this person is being led to you anyway. I feel like they need to do the right thing and at least give you an apology. And um, But they're coming to you legit, and I feel like they're going to be honest, Cancer. Wow, this ended up being a really deep reading, you guys. Anyway, Cancer, um, that's what I have for this little bonus, okay? I just needed to get that download message out to you. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Get ready. This, this offer is legit, and they're coming in um, pretty soon here, Cancer, okay? Anyway, my darlings, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.